Tyler's Garden. He has a black burnt sage tomato. It's not bearing fruit yet, but what we can do is trim it back, cut some of this extra foliage off, and it'll send more energy towards creating more flowers. And down here, we have some bell peppers. They're growing pretty good. Once they produce flowers, then he'll have some fruit. Actually, he has a purple bell pepper that's already growing. So he can eat that in the near future. He also has some kale, scarlet kale. Some of the bugs have chewed on it a little bit. What we can do is trim it back, put some neem oil on it. It'll keep all the bad pests away and it'll grow back. This one's looking pretty good. With the kale, whenever you harvest, you just want to take all the leaves except four or five so it'll have room to grow back. So he actually can take a good bit of these leaves off and you know, eat it raw, saute it. It's a lot of ways you can eat kale, very healthy. He also has some dinosaur kale that we need to trim back and put some neem oil on. But other than that, the garden's looking good. Grow your own food, grow your own medicine. My name is uh, Tyler Kane. I'm from uh, Monroe, Louisiana. Most people know I went to uh, West Monroe High School. For those of you who are from the area, and I also uh, went to ULM, University of Louisiana Monroe, um, where I was an athlete. Uh, and now I am married to my beautiful wife, who uh, was my childhood sweetheart. We both have businesses here in Monroe. My most recent and most, uh, I think, uh, cherished one is uh, Juicy's, our juice company that we started. So, natural juice line, just made with all uh, natural products, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. We mix them up and blend them up and uh, make it into something very healthy, nutritious, and very tasty that can uh, definitely help you to, if you're looking for things like uh, to, to uplift your diet or your, your spirits or whatever, there's a place to come to. And uh, yeah, that's about it, man. Uh, I just, I'm just a person here to serve. You know what I'm saying? That's that's it. Awesome, man. Yeah. I, I can dig that. All right, at TNT Plantary, we we want to inspire more people to grow their own food because it's healthier, and we stress to let food be your medicine. Right. And from following you on social media and from knowing you personally, mm -hmm. I know that that's also your philosophy. Right. So, if you don't mind, tell me, how did your health journey begin? Like, what, what started that mindset of, you know, allowing food to be your medicine and want to live a healthier life? All right. Man, you know what? It didn't even start with me making a decision about food. I was just at a point in college where I just felt as though I needed to get my life together, period. So I made a decision to get my life together in some areas that I didn't think I was uh, totally uh, being myself, and uh, which is my true, unique self, which is all powerful, you know what I'm saying, super confident, always doing the right things. You know, I, I kind of strayed away from that. So I just made a decision to uh, better my life. And as I started to do that, uh, start to focus more on myself and take care of myself, my eating habits just kind of developed along with it. You know what I'm saying? So at first it was never even a thing for me to be like, you know what, I'm about to stop eating. Cause I was the worst eater in the world. Uh, used to eat so many double cheeseburgers and uh, you know, just fast food every single day, multiple times a day. And I, um, when I got off of that, or when I started to uh, change my life, that was when I started to progressively start to change my diet and now um, I'm I haven't eaten any uh, type of meats I'm not I'm not against eating meat but it's just my per personal preference you know what I'm saying not to eat meat I haven't eaten any since uh, 2016 uh, I ate a lot of more a lot more fruits and vegetables and uh, I just feel great man and uh, that was a, another reason to turn back to juice season why I started that so I can help people introduce that into their diets in a, a more harmonious way, you know, because a lot of people don't like to just eat the fruits and vegetables. So we we'll, we'll, we like to just uh, take those things that you really don't like, mix them in a, something very tasty, you know. I can I can I can dig that. So what are the benefits of juicing? You know, and also t tell us a little bit more about juices. Okay, okay, yeah, there are many benefits to juicing, man. Like 
uh, just the 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 nutrients and fruits alone and vegetables alone uh, speaks for themselves, you know. So basically, we just take the extracts from those and and blend them together. But there have been uh, many studies that are saying uh, that juicing can actually help to cause, uh, not to cause, but help to cure many things that are in your body, many ailments. Not saying that they will cure them, but they will help to speed up the process. Right. You know what I'm saying? Along with uh, healthy thinking and healthy uh, healthy habits, healthy, you know, just healthy relationships. Just It all plays in the, uh, into that one picture, but it'll definitely help it if you're uh, a diabetic or if you have high blood pressure or, you know, just uh, we have juices that help with digestion and uh, just uh, a lot of a lot of other things that uh that the body needs and but uh in the answer to your second question about uh juices it's just the um company me and my wife started man uh it was just something that we did out of love we we truly want to see people's diets change and and uh because we know that once you start to make a step in the right direction that many other things come after that many other things you desire it just takes that that one decision to make a step in the right direction as I did back in college. I wasn't trying to eat right, but I made a, a step in the right direction. And through that, a lot of other things that served me were brought into my life. One day at a time. One day at a time. I, I, could, I could relate to that. Definitely. So grow your own food. You, you can grow your own fruits and vegetables, juice it, and get a lot of health benefits from it. Right. So in, in your opinion, what vegetables or what fruits are the best to juice yeah you know what i'm a big fan and i and i don't know uh i'm not certified in nutrition or anything like that i'm just a guy who does my research and i love to what I, what fuel i put in my body so i wouldn't put anything in my body that i don't that i don't know about or that i'm uh that i know that's bad that i know is bad but uh just from my knowledge and my understanding I would definitely uh, uh, like to juice kale because it's a it's a super super rich uh, vegetable. It's so so high in all the vitamin C, K, A, B, C, D. Anything you know, anything you need, pretty much is in that. Uh, we also like to juice uh, pineapples, and pineapples are good. Uh, another thing that helps with uh, digestion. And well, pineapples are good to us just because we like to we like to drink it. Like pineapples, like you know, what I'm saying it's a great fruit to drink. Uh, but yeah, those are carrots. We love carrots to juice carrots. Uh, a lot of people don't like to eat carrots, man. But carrots are good in juice, and they're good for your eyes. Good for your eyes. Just it's it's so much, man. So just skin complexion. It's so much. Uh, so many benefits to juice and just or eating vegetables. Period. Eating clean and thinking clean and living clean. It's uh so many benefits to it. Uh, but yeah, man, those are a couple just to, that I can think of right off the bat that are uh, that are great to juice and that we love to throw into our juices as well. All right, so what what are a couple of the juices that juices offer? Okay, we have uh, I'll just throw uh, two out there. Our two top sellers. Our two top sellers are one is called the Philosopher Stone. It's my favorite one, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I love I love the Philosopher Stone, but it has a uh, kale, seedy grapes, pineapples celery and Fiji apples and uh, in the our next bestseller is the liquid gold it has oranges carrots pineapples celery and seeded grapes that's our those are our two top sellers right there that everybody seems to love we have plenty more we're actually coming out with uh, some juices that uh we're gonna add organic sugar to it but we're trying to make the juices uh imitate your favorite juices that you buy in stores like a, a wine punch or a sunny delight but we want to make it with fruits and vegetables to the point where there's nothing any added other than the fruit the vegetable and maybe a little bit of organic sugar yeah, raw, raw the yeah. raw we're gonna, but we're gonna make it to the point where you don't you'll know the difference because you'll like ours better hopefully but you won't even really notice a difference that you're drinking something that's pure fruits and vegetables versus the store bought things that are full of things that uh, aren't necessarily beneficial to our health. All right. Uh, let's say if someone wanted to learn more about juicing 
or if they want to support Juice Seeds, mm -hmm. like how, how do they get more information and how do they get in contact with you and support your business? Okay, well yeah, as of now we have uh, our social media accounts uh, at Juicy's, J-U-I-C-E, C-Z-S, that's uh, at Juicy's, that's on Instagram and Facebook. Um, um, you can contact myself and my wife, we both run those pages. Uh, that's, that's the main way we operate from there because we have a, uh, quite a uh, uh, purposeful or beneficial social media following. So we like to do a lot of business from there. I, I literally, I really believe that's the new wave of business transactions, other than uh, brick and mortar and websites and stuff like that. Uh, which we also will be getting a website uh, because I'll be doing a lot of fitness things on there and uh, uh, starting to train people. Uh, uh, you know, just throughout the months and stuff like that to get them accustomed to healthy lifestyle and healthy eating and healthy thinking. I'll be along those lines of uh, like a life coach. That's what I like to call it, I guess. But uh, yeah, we definitely get that website created. But for the most part, you can catch us on Facebook and Instagram. Awesome. So any anyone that wants to get like physically fit, get more, more emotional fit, spiritually fit, they, they, can, they can follow you? Yes, I, I believe so. Uh, I, like I said, I can't give you any conclusions, but I can give you a bunch of suggestions, you know, so I can't tell you what will work, but I can tell you what worked for me. And, you know, so uh, I'll definitely post as much inspirational and positive things as I can. I'll, I'll be as real with you. I'll share my story, uh, what I've been through, what I've gotten through, and, uh, where I am now and just how appreciative I am. So I definitely uh, do my best to give and serve. And uh, yeah, so follow me at Juicy's, follow our pages, or you can follow my personal page. Uh, that's uh, Tyler Kane on Facebook and at King Kane, K I N G C A I N on Instagram. Awesome. It has been a pleasure sitting down and building with you. Yeah, appreciate and, it. Like, Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. It's Darian from TNT Planters reminding you to grow your own food, grow your own medicine, and allow food to be your medicine. Thank you. Sorry.